Hello, welcome back to the Mark Janot Show, the tech show about hacking. In this video, I'm going to cover, is Windows Defender good enough? It's plain and simple. So without further ado, let's get right into it. We're going dark. Is Windows Defender good enough? Yes, Windows Defender is a good basic virus protection software. You may not find everything you want if you are extremely security focused. A third party antivirus or anti malware software will likely find threats that Windows Defender may miss. There are good points about Windows Defender. You get free protection that scores high when tested and reviewed. In a pro product review by AV Test during the first two months of 2022, Windows Defender scored 6 out of 6 on all three evaluations, including a 100% detection rate. Tests were conducted for usability, protection, and performance. The usability review tested the impact of the antivirus software on the entire computer system and scans for unnecessary website blocking and false alarms. The test for usability showed there was a slight chance of false malware, malware dete um, detection when using Windows Defender. That could result in legitimate sites getting blocked. Protection is where the main points of concern are for most users. During simulated testing, products get reviewed to see how well they guard devices against malicious viral attacks. Solid protection is where Windows Defender shines. In a sample of over 15,000 malware files, a four-week review showed 100% coverage protection. You can configure your Windows Security Center settings for maximum privacy. Performance is an issue for anyone using antivirus software. You want to know the product you install doesn't bog down your machine. Different products can cause the system to run slowly at times. When testing performance, actions get repeated uh, to do a thorough analysis of the average generated speed of the device while using the antivirus product. When using Windows Defender, expect slower installations of frequently used applications. So how much slower? According to the test, when using a high-end computer, you can expect a download rate that falls at about 16%, which is 5% higher than the industry average of 11%. Where Microsoft Windows Defender comes short. If you have read all the features Windows Defender offers, you might think there is no need to install other virus software. Before you de decide this is all the protection you need, you should be aware of a few stumbling blocks with the product. You have to use other Windows products for full protection. Getting the most from Windows Defender involves using only Microsoft-based products. If you like to use browsers like Google Chrome or Firefox, you may get less protection. When working with other products, you rely solely on their antivirus protection. Many users aren't made aware of that before they run into a malware issue. If you like the Windows Defender parental control features, you should know that your kids also won't get protected when, they're, when using other browsers or applications. They must use the Microsoft Edge browser and no others. Also, if you want to extend the Microsoft security features to your children's Apple or Android phones, it will require a paid subscription. Windows Defender doesn't hold up well when accessing phishing sites. Phishing, uh, phishing has become a critical prog problem for many computer viruses. Uh, critical problem for computer users, sorry. Uh, we get tons of emails each day that look official. When we get a, into a hurry, we could click on an email before realizing it could be a dangerous scam. A phishing site works by using a domain name or information that resembles an official website. Phishing sites can cause extensive damage because hackers don't have to be sophisticated to get private data. Since the sites look genuine, many people give over their personal information. That may include financial and health data, and it can take months to regain that personal data. Windows Defender blocked phishing sites only 68% of the time when using the Microsoft Edge browser. Wait a minute! Firefox and Chrome blocked phishing sites 89% and 90% of the time respectfully. DNS filtering only when using Microsoft Edge. Windows Defender offers DNS filtering, but you must use the Microsoft Edge web browser to get this feature. 
DNS filtering uses domain name system matches to block malicious websites. If you prefer to use another browsing method, such as Google Chrome or Firefox, you lose the Windows Defender DNS feature. You will need to upgrade to the endpoint or business versions to use DNS services with other browsers. The other option is to get the Microsoft Defender Browser Protection uh, Browser Extension, which helps protect you against online threats when using Chrome. There is no password manager for Windows Defender, right? Windows Defender does not come up with a password manager. That is the downfall when it comes to protecting your data. A password manager is a tool that generates strong passwords and encrypts them for more online security. Not having a password manager may leave you more vulnerable to internet hackers. You have to pay extra for cloud backup. You don't get the advantage of cloud storage with Windows Defender. If you want that, you will need to pay extra for the service. Microsoft recommends using Azure to protect the cloud's environment. Uh, the next thing is you don't get a VPN. Windows Defender will not offer you VPN access for website browsing protection. If you want to use a VPN, you need to sign up for a third party VPN service to know it will work. A VPN is an added layer of da data protection by using a different IP address and hiding the real one that keeps hackers from knowing where you are searching from by redirecting your data. If you are at home doing some internet browsing, you may not want sites tracking your every move. A VPN can guard against others viewing your activity. You don't want to feel safe at home then realize someone is watching what you do. No, God! So I hope that answered is Windows Defender uh, good enough to use. I want to know your opinion. Please let me know. Please hit the subscribe button. Please hit the notification bell. I love you. Stay safe. See you in the next video.